Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late yesterday in my region, Microsoft rolled out two new Insider Preview builds, one for the Dev and one for the Beta channel. And the two builds are nearly identical builds, so they're basically mirror images of one another, give or take. So just to focus on two new features that have rolled out, which I would say would be the key highlights for the Dev and Beta channels for this week. Now, first of all, and what we're looking at here is a new recall homepage where the new homepage shows a timeline of your recent activity, highlighting your top three apps and websites from the past 24 hours. It also introduces a sidebar for quicker navigation between home, timeline, feedback, and settings. And the idea here, Microsoft says, is to make jumping back into tasks faster and more intuitive. So that's the new homepage for recall, if that is something you would be interested in. And then here's one I posted on just the other day, when it was still a hidden feature, and just another indication that hidden features can make it into official testing and even into a stable release where there is a new setting now to move hardware indicators on your screen, which according to Microsoft is a highly requested feature. So you've got the option to move the hardware indicators for brightness, volume, airplane mode, and virtual desktops to different positions on your screen. So Microsoft says it will support the current bottom position and the new top left and the top center positions on the screen. And if you just head to the next, here is where you'll find the setting to adjust all of that. Where to change the position of your flyouts, you would head to settings, system, notifications, and use the position of on-screen indicators to change that to bottom center, top left, or top center. So according to Microsoft, that's a highly requested feature. And I have seen a couple of comments that if Microsoft can move the on-screen indicators to different positions, why can't they move the taskbar to different positions? And I think the reason Microsoft isn't moving the taskbar is because it's to do with the start menu. But that could be a video for another day. So anyway, that's the two key highlights, I would say, from the Dev and Beta channels for this week. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.